the Close Brothers Novices Handicap Chase is next up then and quite a small field for this one it's a two and a half mile 0 to 130 novice chase the top one is Prospect for David Hooley Jardine's Lookout for Graham Clutterbuck Barolo Viking Martin Leadham Harbour Laughs Darren Thompson Singita Chrissy David Robertson Rabalma for Graham Clutterbuck Pick Lamb Thomas Rogers St Jude Paul Rhodes and First Prize for Ryan Tamasebi so just nine this time then called in and away they go they'll be making their way down towards the first of the fences and over it they all go and St Jude is the early leader from Singita Chrissy in second and then Harbour Laughs is third Rabalma is fourth as they get to the second and they're all safely over that one as well they're already jumping better in this novice chase than they did in the arc earlier on by two fences we've already lost at least one and Singita Chrissy leads into fence number three which they all got to the other side of and Harbour Laughs He's now caught up on the outside of that one. So, so leading three, really, then, of Jardine's lookout on the inside for Graham Clutterbuck, then Singita Chrissy for David Robertson and Harbour Lass for Darren Thompson. Then on the wide outside, Prospect in the purple jacket with on that one's inside, Pierre Lamb. Right over on the far side, then, on the rail is St. Jude in that green and yellow with behind it, Barolo Viking in the stripes. And then the red and blue of first prize for Ryan Tamasebi is the well, the runner then as they race down towards the fourth, and the pace has increased somewhat as they get over that one with Singy to Chrissy leading by about half a length. Through Jardine's look at on the inside second as they get to number five, a really good fast jump by the leader and leads by about a length. Through Jardine's look at Harbour Laughs and Prospect, then St. Jude and First Price together, and then three in a line, Pink Lambrolo Viking and Rabalma, who's probably just the back marker as they make their way towards the next of the 16 fences they take in this one and that's number six and over it they go a bit of a untidy jump by St Jude in the green and yellow oh a mistake there by the leader Singita Chrissy has seen that one drop right back to about fourth they're going to come up there now and swing left handed for a complete circuit of the track and Jardine's lookout just about poking his head in front from Harbour Laughs in second and first prize in third. Singy to Chrissy is fourth and Pink Lamb five and Prospect. Rolo Viking has moved to the outside now as Rabauer has gone past St. Jude and St. Jude just about the back marker but pretty tightly packed. Only about eight to ten lengths between the lot of them. And Harbour Laughs and Jardine's lookout disputing the lead. Barolo Viking now being driven upon the outside in third as they race down towards the next and over that one they go they're all safely over that one and they'll be all safely over the next one as well because it's the water jump and it's Jardine's look at on the far side Barolo Viking nearest to us Harbour laughs between the two and Singita Chrissy back in fourth a little bit of a gap to St Jude is now moved back through into fifth then comes Prospect and First Price together Pet Lamb just on their outside and Rabalma just the back marker as they take that ditch with Jardine's look at the leader by probably about half a length to Barolo Viking who's still running wide on the track as they get to number 12 Singita Chrissy jumps up in a second there and Jardine's lookout continues to lead as Barolo Viking tucks across to join the others and St Jude he's a clear fourth leading group of four then are about two lengths ahead of Harbour Laughs who's just dropped back into fifth but now being driven up to join that group again as they get over that one a really good jump there by Harbour Laughs it's almost jumped into the lead so Harbour Laughs then now racing downhill has taken it up a real powerful move there singing to Chrissy trying to cover it on the inside the one that can't go with him is Barolo Viking that's dropped right out of that leading path almost immediately but it's singing to Chrissy who's got back into the lead on the inside then singing to Chrissy St. Jude coming around the outside between the two of them Harbour Laughs Rabalma now coming into it then comes Jardine's look out first price trying to run on then prospect Barolo Viking and Peck Lamb look out of it but it's St Jude in the lead just two more fences to take then there Peck Lamb is, is the one that's dropping out of it out the back so is Barolo Viking but now first prize comes through to take it up it's first prize that's come through now to take the lead first prize in front singing to Chrissy St Jude and then Harbour Laughs back in fourth did that make its move too soon the clutter book fair pair together Rabalma and Jardine's look out then prospect trying to run on but it's 
its first prize was in front, two furlongs to go, two fences to jump, and first prize in the lead, St. Jude second, slow jump by the leader, St. Jude jumps it better and now comes up alongside, racing down towards the final fence in now, over it they go, and it was St. Jude's turn to make a mistake, its first prize in the lead, first prize into the final furlong, Harbour Luffs is trying to run on, but first prize is in the lead, and first prize is racing in the final half furlong, racing up towards the line, the nerves can now be eased in the Tamasebi household as he gets his winner, it's first prize that takes it, Harbour Luffs is second, St. Jude is third, Rebalma fourth, then Prospect the field will trail all the way back to Barolo Viking and Ryan Tamasebi said he only wanted one winner. I'm sure he'll probably get more than one, but that's the first one, and that's the one that'll ease the nerves for the rest of the week. First prize takes it for Ryan Tamasebi. Harbour last was second for Aaron Thompson. St. Jude third for Paul Rhodes. Prospect was fourth for David Hooley, and Rabalma for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth, so... That's another different trainer taking a win then, so, so far only one trainer with two winners.